Lovers, welcome back to my channel. These new photos of Kale Lowry have just been released by the US Sun, and I am literally speechless. I don't know what to say, genuinely. Like, I've been sitting here looking at these photos and this article for a while now, just thinking, oh my God, like, what is there to say at this point, right? Like, we already know that Kale had a baby last year in November with her fourth baby daddy, Elijah Scott. The photos were out there. Then she, in a very roundabout way, admitted it herself on her podcast when she was talking to the Kopu sister and said that she was watching their show as she was giving birth to one of her sons. And it turned out that that show debuted in November of last year. So it couldn't have been any of the Acknowledge, publicly acknowledged sons. It has to be the one that she's not, you know, ta uh, um, claiming publicly. And so now the USN captured these photos of her today for you guys on the East and West Coast, but yesterday for those of us on EU time and further, um, Thursday, September 7th, coming out of her podcasting studio in what is very, very, very obviously a high baby bump. Now, I don't know if I am remembering the superstitions correctly or the old wives tale, but I've always heard that when you carry high, it means that it's a girl. So could it be that Kale has finally gotten her girl baby? I know there had been rumors swirling around for a while now by one of my Instagram faves, Teen Mom Chatter, that she was pregnant with twins, but I never touched on that story because there was no, there was no, um, proof and photos, this, that, and the other. It's not to doubt Team Mom Chatter because I really enjoy her and her content, but I just wanted to like stay away from it until more information came out. But now upon seeing these photos, it turns out that Team Mom Chatter was well aware very, very early on. Like I salute her for putting her neck on the line and, um, and just standing by her her sources, like this is absolutely incredible. Even I said, like, listen, we all know that Kale, Kale loves to make babies, okay, with with new people per baby. But um, I just felt like, okay, five is enough. Like five kids, like it's enough. It's already hard enough with like cars and just everything else. Because I grew up in a family with four kids and I felt like that was even too much. Because you know, like when you go to like a pizza shop or something like that, that our family deals were for families of four, but we were a family of six and it was already too much. You know what I mean? So I can't imagine people having more than four. So I was like, okay, well maybe she's got the fifth because she's got this new guy and whatnot. Like something happened. I guess she wasn't on birth control or whatever. And they just had a fifth child and she wasn't ready to talk about it publicly, but she's learned her lesson. She's a grown woman. She's a smart woman. She's an educated woman. She is going to shut down this breeding service of hers, but alas, she is still going strong. This is absolutely stunning. You guys, I am truly, truly at a loss for words here. You know, I I can't help but think about the kale that we were introduced to on Teen Mom 2. Just the one who seems so driven, ambitious, and just like someone who was going to achieve all of her goals and just... I don't know, go down like a really good path and direction in life. Like I thought she was going to be a dental hygienist with like one kid, maybe two. And that was it. You know what I mean? Um, and just like a nice, stable life, even though she was kind of mean on the show. Like I felt like the way she spoke to Joe and his family was kind of out of order. But guys like a mean girl. OK, so I was like, oh, she's going to she's going to have a nice man on lock and just like live a nice, calm life. You know, I thought of the uh, like one of the only other girls I saw that way was Isabella Tovar. And I think she kind of lived up to that. I know she's divorced or something, but she lives a nice, like quiet life, you know, and she's just doing her thing. But I never in a million, billion, trillion years would have imagined that this is what Kale would end up doing. I just, I'm sad. I'm sad for her. I wonder if there's something going on that she's not getting proper help for. I know that she has been speaking with a therapist for stuff about, you know, some of like the mental health and emotional health stuff that she's been going through. But I, is there not somebody a little bit more like, I don't know, fortified to help with whatever is causing this young, smart woman 
to just pop out kids with whomever and so quickly. I don't know. Like, the, I feel like there's something seriously wrong here. And it's not to exaggerate, you guys, but it's starting to get scary. Like, I don't, I'm about the same age as Kale. I think she's 31. She just turned 31. So, like, imagine this, like, six or seven kids at only 31 years old by four different men. Like, I don't know anybody who's living like this, you know, especially not anybody with, like a good education who went to like university and whatnot, like living like this, like it's kind of scary. You guys, I have to admit, like she got with Elijah last year. He moved in super quickly. Then they got pregnant super quickly. And now they're pregnant again. I don't understand how this is happening, why this is happening. Like, I don't know. Like, I really feel sad. I could almost like, I feel like if this were my sister, I would be crying. Seriously, like I would be crying. Like, is, like what happened to you that you feel like you have to do this or that you are making these decisions and whatnot? Like, it's just really sad. A lot of people say she's got the money, it's fine. But how many times do you hear about these like rich celebrity kids talking about how they're effed up because their parents were not there for them emotionally? They had like all these kids, all these different places and whatnot. And so they never really got to grow up with their siblings or to get a lot of attention from their parents or like their parents had their own issues that they didn't work through. Yeah, they were rich, but they have a lot of trauma and just like generational like issues that they didn't work through before having kids. And those things, you know, the kids felt the impact of that. Like, I don't know, like this just sounds really sad and scary to me. Like, is everything okay with Kale? I feel like the answer is no, because I think if she were in a good place, she wouldn't be making these kinds of decisions. You know, like, I am deeply, deeply concerned, you guys. I truly am. Like, she's not, she hasn't been my favorite teen mom girly in ages, right? Ever since she got with, like, ever since towards the end of her relationship with Javi, I was just like, no, like, I'm good on her. Then she got worse when she got with Chris. But still, like, just as a person and just seeing another young woman, like, my age living her life this way when she can do so much better it makes me sad and it makes me wonder what is going on with the kids that she has at home as well. You know, like I know that on a, well, it's not a recent episode, but a couple months ago on the baby mama's no drama podcast, she talked about how Joe was adamant about having a serious conversation with Elijah about sticking around because Isaac has seen so, so, so many of Kale's boyfriends and girlfriends, so many men and women coming in and out of his life and getting attached to. Like, I remember that really sad, heartbreaking episode that uh, she released maybe like three weeks ago where she talked about how Isaac was so attached to Javi. Like, he saw him as his dad. Like, this was a time when Joe didn't even have 50 50 and Kale was with Javi. And so Javi was like, for all intents and purposes, his dad. And he was so young. And then when that breakup happened, like his heart was broken. To this day, he can't even look at Javi because he is so devastated about this. And then we all know that Kale has had multiple other girlfriends and boyfriends since this breakup. We know Chris, um, Malik was around. And then she had, who's the girlfriend? Was it Dominique or something like that? Like she had girl, like she had a lot of people and Isaac had met these people and she admitted to it in her podcast. She talked about how like all of the people she's dated have been nice to her kids and whatnot. Um, but it's like, well, how many are there? How many are there? So just to think that like there's all these people coming and going and they're leaving souvenirs in the form of new brothers, potentially a new sister now. Like I can't imagine, like especially someone like me who grew up in a very traditional nuclear family where we're just, we're all full siblings, you know, I can't imagine just all of a sudden having like this new sibling from this new person, a new sibling from that new person. Like, it's just, it's really, I don't know. I don't want to sound mean about it. So I don't want to say it's this, that, or like, all I can say is it's sad. Like it truly, truly is sad. And, you know, when I look at these kids, I see Isaac, Isaac Rivera, then you've got Lincoln Marroquin, then you've got Lux uh, Larry, then you've got Creed Larry Lopez, like all these brothers 
with all these different dads and all these different last names. And God knows what last name the, these children with Elijah have. Although I do believe that her third baby daddy, um, Chris Lopez, said that she gave the the November baby, Elijah Rio is his alleged name, she gave him Elijah's last name. So it's Elijah Rio Scott. And I'll tell you guys a kind of funny fun fact. So in one of my native languages, Luo, Rio or Rio, sorry, means two. So the fact that his name would be Elijah Rio Scott, like he would have the exact same name as his dad and he's the second. It's just in my mind, I'm, I'm thinking of it that way. I'm like, wow, that's kind of like ironic and funny. Obviously, she wouldn't know this, but it's just like a funny little tidbit there. But wow, you guys, I am floored. Kale, you have truly outdone yourself. I held out hope. I said no. She has worked on herself after this first fifth child. She's healed. But alas, let me just end this here because I truly don't know what else to say other than I hope that Kale gets well soon one day. I really do. And I hope that this, that her kids are okay and that all of this is not too confusing and um, traumatizing for them. I know that in another podcast, perhaps this was last year, but her son, or was it like, no, it was this year. Her son, Isaac, didn't he make a joke? And she thought it was hilarious, but he wasn't even making a joke. He was being serious when he told her to stop having all these kids. And the fact that here she is pregnant again by a new man and allegedly with two at the same time. Like, imagine this is so crazy. Like, oh my God, I'm sad. I have to be honest with you guys. I'm sad. Normally I'd be like, shady or this or that because you know um just to make things like lighthearted or whatnot but this to me is genuinely sad and i think that this is a symptom of something deeply 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 wrong and um man i don't even know what to say guys listen i'm going to be going away tomorrow morning well today morning it's friday here um i'm going to my friend's wedding in turkey in istanbul so I won't be able to make as much content as normal, but I will try my best, okay, you guys? Um, so just keep that in mind uh, for the next few days, okay? So sorry about that, but let's just leave on this note because I don't know what to say. I wonder how V truly feels about this when I see her photo in the back. Like, she's married to Kale's inaugural baby daddy, Joe Rivera, and they they help pick up the pieces of Isaac's broken heart as these new kids are added to the family. Um, and then I wonder how Javi feels about, I wonder how everybody feels about this because this is insanity. I wonder how Lindsay feels about it. You know, her coffee convos co-host, the girl who's like super, super, super Southern belle, Lindsay, like this to me, I feel like her dad would trash talk the hell out of Kale in her lifestyle. So it's incredible to me that they could be called podcast co-host. Cause I remember in the second to last episode of Coffee Convos, she was talking and I felt like it was shade. I talked about this with my channel members, I believe, but it felt like she was throwing shade at Kale when they were talking about like, you know, step siblings and this, that and the other and, or half siblings. And um, Lindsay was like, yeah, that's why we as adults have to be careful when we decide to have kids or whatnot. And I was like, Ooh. Is that a little bit of shade at Miss Kale? Because Lord knows the last thing she is is careful when it comes to deciding to have more kids. Wow. Let me just put this photo up one last time before I say goodbye for dramatic effect. Kale, God, you are so much better than this lifestyle, girl. I really, really hope after these two kids or one kid or whatever that you, that you recover, that you get help because this is really, really concerning. Anyway, you guys, take care. Bye.